how do you reframe it? Just do like you always do. Every time you come back out to practice after the game, win or lose, you take the approach, you correct, you get the corrections done from the last game, um, and then you move on to the next game. You get ready to play now. So uh, that's how we always approach it. You went into that game as a team with everybody expressing a lot of confidence, you mm -hmm. expressing a lot of confidence. Does that take a blow with something like this, or do you look at that game no, and say, you know, I, I said after, I said after the, the game that I still believe this is a good football team. I still believe we're a lot better than we were last year. Mm -hmm. um, I do, Hawaii's better than they were last year. Okay. Um, main reason is the quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I, I think that uh, we're, we're still going to win a lot of football games. I really believe that. And uh, you know, we had a couple unfortunate incidents happen to us um, that we need to make sure we don't do. Uh, that kind of turned the tide of the game for us. Did you get any explanation for from the officials or Mountain West for kind of the ending there? Uh, no. What was your, your take on that after getting a chance to watch or maybe what should have I cannot happened? comment on it. It's right. rules. So please don't try to walk me into something I can find mm -hmm. for please. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised to see the team kind of make some of those mistakes that hurt them, uh, especially late? Uh, uh, well, you know, really we hurt ourselves in the first half. I mean, that's where we really hurt ourselves. Um, and, uh, of course, we made some, but, you know, the first half we um, shot ourselves in the foot a few times that were, uh, um, you know, pretty monumental um, shots in the foot. We really shot ourselves in the leg or the head, whatever you want to say. Um, so uh, that's where, yeah, I mean, some of them I definitely was. But that's that's why you play football. Things like that happen. We got to overcome it. I thought we... Uh, battled back and had a chance to overcome it and kept fighting. You had to burn, or you burned two timeouts on one drive in the yeah, quarter, obviously it would have been real nice to have them. Yes, it would have. Last drive. What, what happened with that? Well, one of them, we were, um, it was down there on a, a third down and short. We wanted, both of them were third down and shorts, and we wanted to make sure we got it. And, um, and so uh, I was saying they were going to measure them and some different things like that, and, they, and so we called timeout. We, we got both of them, which was key in the, in the deal. But there's no doubt you would have liked to have um, those uh, those back for sure. Michael Atkins uh, was one of the bright spots. Do you think being third on the depth chart in the season might have lit a fire under him? Um, no, I think he was. You know, he, he's a good runner. He does a good job. As long as he stays healthy, he's a good player. He, he's had a hard time always staying healthy, and that's nothing against him. I mean, that's what just happened. If he stays healthy, he can really run. Once you got a chance to look at the film, what what stood out about? Uh, the defense play obviously it looked like a pretty good night for them overall. Um, the defense played hard, and um, you know, but we, uh, you know, gave up the long pass, which we shouldn't have. Um, it, it, they should have maybe completed it because they got they got a good arm, a good quarterback. We should tackle the guy there, um, and then uh, um, you know we uh, needed to be a little stouter in the red zone there after our first turnover. We were right there, could have, we could have made the play in the end zone when they had the field goal. I think that would have been a big difference. So I think those are two areas right there if we could have. Negated those plays to make both of them field goals. On that long play, did it, did it look like that was not a feeble attempt at a tackle, but an attempt to make a strip? Is what was that the issue? He, he was he needed to, he was stripping in trying to tackle, and the guy was a big guy, and he um, uh, uh, fell off of him. Jason Frank and Jordan Carroll looked like they had good, good games up front on the defensive line. Yeah, for their first college game, first major college game, I thought they both did well. You know, they need to keep improving, but I thought for their first college game, they played well. Injuries? Anybody? Did you lose anybody? Um, we did not lose anybody in that game. Nobody's gone to class and walked down these stairs yet, so hopefully that didn't happen again. <laughs> Coach, you, today's workout just, uh, you know, you preparing for UMass yet? You just getting the legs loose out here today? Yeah, we, we were, um, we, we come back and do corrections from our game before, because uh, if you don't correct it, if somebody will copy it and show up against it again, somewhere down the road in the next three or four weeks. Um, and then um, we also um, get ready for UMass. So. I'm curious what you do with a five, four or five hour flight after a loss like that, do you try to sleep? Does it go through your mind? Are, are, are you meeting with coaches? What? What? Do you, I mean, what, what are you doing? You don't, on you that? don't really sleep, right? Um, uh, you it's go, a long time. You to go, think. yeah, you go over the thing over and over and over. Um, you watch the tape of the game on the iPads. Mm -hmm. uh, coaches do the same thing. Then we get back together, and uh, you know we uh, um, met a long, you know, today on in a long time, and then got ready to meet with the players and showed them. If you mistakes. were dead in the sleep, you were in the most uncomfortable looking yeah, position yeah, ever. No, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, <laughs> you don't sleep much. You kind of doze in and out. Of, um, but you did look at the game on the iPad on, on the flight? Yes, yes, all our coaches yeah. did. Okay. How did you feel about the offensive line play in, in the game? 
I thought that uh, they did some good things. I thought that, um, that some of the stunts up front um, put a little bit more pressure on Cepho than we would have liked. Um, so we've got to we've got to remedy that and fix that. Um, and uh, I was unfortunate to see I didn't expect that as much as we had it happen. So four sacks were mental errors rather than physical errors. Uh, a combination. Okay. Um, a couple of them were mental errors and a couple of them were. Uh, Physical errors in some of the hurries were some uh, physical movement error type things. They just got to keep their weight down and keep it shifted. And they did some stunning on us, which we had prepared for. Um, it didn't handle as well as we would like. They did some good things, but um, that was one area that I thought we should. I would have thought we would have done better at. And so we'll see. We'll keep seeing that. We'll see that again this week until we put a remedy to it. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate